it's recording. Yeah. So. Oh, that's too close. Can't tell. Hey guys, this is my first blog. Um, Don O'Keefe, what's your name? Okay. <laughs> um, wow, this is weird. You just sit in a room and you just talk. Okay. So, I'm doing a blog um, because I am part of a group. Um, it's an abstinence group, um, and it's called The Promise. Um, so, this is for all you guys out there. Hey, Gwyneth Bell. Um, so, I have to speak tomorrow um, to everybody at like a rally. And I'm kind of nervous, so I thought I would think through everything here with my notes so that if I miss anything during the rally, you will have heard it online. Um, because this is an appropriate use of online activity as opposed to inappropriate use of online activity where people, um, I think that we all know what I'm talking about. And here's what I've learned about abstinence. Um, when you have sexual feelings, you get overwhelmed by them. And sometimes um, you end up making mistakes and all sorts of things out there, like um, the media, even network TV, um, tends to encourage people to get carried away um, with their passions and do things like um, having babies at an early age. I mean, sex is for babies, so you need to have a family. Have a baby, so you should have a family, then have a baby. And that's when you have sex. I mean, in between those two things. Like, you should have a family before you have sex. So, I'm not even looking at my notes. I wouldn't have gotten so tangled up. There's also the issue of just people can end up breaking each other's hearts all the time when they have sex with a lot of people. Um, and it's just not in the Bible. If you look at the Bible, especially if you look at Adam and Eve, and if you look at God's words, he says that you should get married first. I'm sure it's because of all the complications that they found in ancient times. But I think it's also because the heart is so... Fragile.